आनंदी ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवती वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवती वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये नष्टेशभद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्ठी Reading from Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 6, The Killing of the Putana Demon Putana. Text number 8. Vibhudya tam balaka marika graham chara chara atma saha nimilita ikshnaha अनंत आरोपयत अंक अंतक यथा उरगम सुप्त अबुधि रजुदी विबुद्यतांबालकमाग्रह चरा चरात्मा स निमीलते क्षण अनंतमारोपयद अंकमंतक यथोरगम सप सुप्त अबुदी रजुदी विबुद्यतांबालकमाग्रह चरा चरात्मा स निमीलते क्षण अनंतमारोपयदंकमंतक यथोरगम सुप्तमबुद्धिजुदी विबुद्यतांबालकमाग्रह चरा चरात्मा स निमीलते क्षण अनंतमारोपयदंकमंतक यथोरगम सुप्तमबुद्धिजुदी
Matajis? Vibhudhya, understanding, tam, har, putana, balakamarika graham, a witch, very expert in killing small babies, chara chara atma, Krishna, the all-pervading super soul, saha, he, Nimilita Ikshanaha, closed his eyes. Anantam, the unlimited. Aropayat, she placed. Ankam, on her lap. Antakam, for her own annihilation. Yatha, as. Uragam, a snake. Suptam, while sleeping. Abuddhi, a person who has no intelligence. Rajudihi, one who thinks a snake to be a rope. Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedan Swami, Śrīla Prabhupāda. In this verse, there are two perplexities. When Krishna saw that Putana had come to kill him, he thought that since this woman was present with motherly affection, although artificial, he had to offer her a benediction. Therefore, he looked at her with a little perplexity and then closed his eyes again. Putana Rakshasi was also was perplexed. She was not intelligent enough to understand that she was taking a sleeping snake on her lap. She thought the snake to be an ordinary rope. The two words Antakam and Anantam are contradictory. Because of not being intelligent, Putana thought that she could kill her Antakam the source of her annihilation, but because he is ananta, unlimited, no one can kill him. Om Ajnanati Mirindasya, Jnana Anjana Salakaya, Chakshun Militam Yena, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Kada Mahim, Dadati Svapadantikam, Vandeham Shri Guru, Shri Utapadakamalam, Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinabandho Jagatpate Gopayesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tattakanchana Gaurangi, Radhe Vrindavaneshwari, Vrishabhanu Sute Devi, Pranamami Hari Priye, Vancha Kalptarubhyascha, Kripa Sindhubhya Yevacha, Patitanam Pavanebhyo, Vaishnavebhyo Namanamaha, Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadara, Shri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Ayavasu Devaya Devaki Nandanoya Cha Nanda Gopakumaraya Govindaya Namo Namaha Namaha Pankajanabhaya Namaha Pankajamalini Namaha Pankajanetraya Namaste Pankajangri Hare Krishna all, I am sure all of you must have heard this past time, so many times. How Krishna came, um, Putana came and then she applied poison to her breast and Krishna sucked the milk along with the life airs. Then Krishna sent her to Golok Vrindavan. Right? In 1990, Three, uh, I think, His Holiness Radha Govind Maharaj, he did a Bhago Saptaha 
in a garden, Gandhi garden. First time I heard any time Bhagavad Saptaha in my life. So that time uh, I still remember the way he described uh, this Putana pastime. Very wonderful. I made notes. So then now I read some commentaries also, Vishnu Chagatagar commentary. So Maharaj spoke mostly from Harishauri's commentary. Then uh, very wonderful. It uh, made a very uh, lasting impression in my heart, the way, the way he described, described uh, Putana pastime. I will try to repeat to the extent I remember. Uh, uh, Vasudev and uh, met uh, Nanda Maharaj when Nanda Maharaj uh, went to um, because uh, he was uh, Nanda Maharaj was very anxious that uh, uh, if Kamsa comes to know that a beautiful child is born, uh, it may attract his wrath. So, in before he made Kamsa make some enquiries. He uh, he wanted himself wanted to go and uh, uh, please the king. He pleased all the inhabitants of Braj. Now he wanted to please the king. So the best way to please the king was to pay taxes. So he went to uh, pay the taxes. So he did not go to meet Vasudev, but Vasudev came to know that uh, he uh, Nanda Maharaj came. So he along with one bodyguard he went to meet uh, Nanda Maharaj very secretly. So then uh, they were having discussion and then uh, Nanda, uh, Vasudev, he, uh, he told uh, Nanda Maharaj that to go very quickly, to go back to go Gokul because some calamities are going to uh, happen. So go quickly. So as soon as uh, Nanda Maharaj heard, now he became very, very uh, anxious, became very, very anxious. Then uh, he, um, he uh, uh, started remembering Hari very fast, very intensely, right? <laughs> so very interesting that uh, they, Nandrani and Nanda Maharaj, they pray to Lord Narayana, Adhokshya Krishna, so that Krishna will become his servant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that was uh, fun in these pastimes of uh, Vrindavan, like that. So, uh, so we are told that uh, there will be no anxiety in the spiritual world. You know, nivartante taddhamam paramam mama. You know, abrahma bhuna lauko punaravarti no arjuna mamu petita kaunteya. Punarjanma na vidyate. Dukhalayam. Otherwise, this world is Dukhalayam. So, if you go to spiritual world, uh, why Kuntha? Uh, why Kuntha? Kuntha means anxiety. Why Kuntha means no anxiety. So, one, one can raise this question that uh, why devotees in Vrindavan, like Nanda Maharaj, they are in anxiety. No, there are any anxiety like that. So, uh, in the so in a Krishna Sandarbha, you know, uh, Sri Jiva Goswami uh, raises this question uh, that uh, in the eternal associates of the Lord, we see attachment. Uh, emotions, just like other ordinary human beings. How then one, the eternal associates of the Lord, how they can be uh, associates of the Lord? Another question, how is it that in Goloka, in Gokula, the residents seem to uh, behave just like ordinary people in the material world? So in uh, Krishna Sandarbha, Sri Jiva Goswami raised uh, these two questions. How come, you know, the residents of uh, Gokul, uh, they are in anxiety, then how come they behave just like uh, ordinary human beings? Answer to the first question, all these uh, 
uh, you know happenings did not lead to any material sufferings so he quoted the verse from 10.11.58 iti nanda nanda adyo gopaha krishna rama katham muda kurvanto ramana manasa na na vindham bhava vedanam right so in this way all the covered men uh, headed by nanda enjoyed topics about the past times of krishna and balaram with great transcendental pleasure and they could not uh, even uh, perceive the material tribulations so lord kapila also says madashraya katha amrishta shunvanti katayanti cha tapanti vivida stapa naitan madgata chetasa right naitan madgata chetasa so uh, my devotees by taking shelter of my katha they become indifferent to all material tribulations by always being absorbed me in my katha by narrating the past times by hearing the past times so why i am describing this past time again uh, if you see in uh, bhagavad gita 8th uh, chapter 5th verse you know antakale cha mameva smaran muktva kalevaram krishna did not say um, by chanting my name krishna did not say by hearing my name he said by remembering me why did he say that because sometimes you know in, in the at the time of death all our senses um, they become uh, uh, you know they are useless they do, they stop working then how can you chant right how can you some uh, friends of our us they may be chanting the holy name but if our ears are not working how can we hear right or sometimes there are so many people dumb and deaf people right <laughs> or acharya acharya seva acharya guru acharya acharya seva this is preaching to uh, you know dumb and deaf people i gave class two three times <laughs> right so i give class and that person like this like this he does right <laughs> so sign language <laughs> and then they understand <laughs> so how do they chant hari krishna <laughs> i told them you remember krishna <laughs> right so you um, nobody can stop you from remembering krishna right like that so at the time of death uh, no ev- nobody can say i you know smriti everybody can do smriti you know, everybody can remember remember right so uh, so krishna is saying remember me at the time of death he didn't say chant or he didn't say hear remember me right so for remembering uh, we should hear this katha uh, again and again again and again so why did uh, nanda maharaj feel anxiety so bhakti sam sindhu it is mentioned it is called sanchari bhava sanchari bhava and sthai bhava so sthai bhava means he is permanently fixed in parental affection sanchari bhava means there is a, a temporary uh, anxiety chinta which lasts only for few minutes or whatever few seconds why because why krishna puts his uh, devotees into anxiety because he wants all his devotees to go through all the range of full range of all emotions that are connected to being a father and mother right vasudev was not in anxiety because he has seen the opulence of krishna that's why he is uh, is thinking uh, krishna is all pervading brahman and all so what you know anxiety for him because he is source of everything but nanda maharaj doesn't have that knowledge he is all pervading and all right he thinks he is my son he thinks he is my son sometimes when he sees all this lifting over the hind and all they think that oh uh, narayana entered his body uh, like that if mother yashoda are what is this you know uh, balram ji once he went uh, uh, when when krishna was born uh, so balram ji went uh, to mother yashoda uh, started very angrily do you know who krishna is hey, who he is narsingadev Yeah, he is rama 
he is vamana huh? he is uh, you know parashuram <laughs> like that he started <laughs> nandrani said kya all the incarnations have taken my, in my house only <laughs> so ye narsing dev hai billi ko dekh ke darta hai ha mera pallu ke piche chup jata hai ha if you don't go i will bind you also like that so she is uh, so they are, so, so we don't you know like a parent if the child is uh, you know in anxi- uh, trouble they undergo the uh, anxiety like that so uh, my dear master although you have nothing uh, to do with the material existence you come to earth and uh, uh, imitate material life just as to expand the varieties of ecstatic enjoyment for your surrendered devotees this is the answer to the second question like that so shri radha gun maharaj says that uh, in order to understand shrimad bhagavatam in order to get krishna prema you must be a madman right thoda sa pagalpan hona chahiye so once hridayanand maharaj went and uh, uh you know discussing with shila prabhupad he said prabhupad i think some of our devotees they are little crazy prabhupad said yes unless somebody is crazy they cannot become krishna conscious <laughs> you know why because otherwise who, who will give up and uh, you know comfortable material life and wake up early in the morning take cold water bath that too with packed with so many brahmacharis you don't get you know you know space uh, then you have to keep on knocking hey jaldi aao jaldi aao ऐसा होता है ना फैक्ट है आजकल ब्रह्मचर्य आश्रम जल्दी आप फटाफट ए रुक नहीं सकते क्या कर रहे हो बाथरूम राइट राइट लाइक दैट इन आवर हाउसेस यू नो वी हैव वी लिव कंफर्टेबली लाइक दैट सो अनलेस प्रोबा से या अनलेस समबडी इज लिटिल क्रेजी सो राधा गोविंद महाराज सेइंग दैट जस्ट सी परीक्षित महाराज he already heard nine cantos of bhagavatam and then uh, he uh, he uh, he understood that krishna is the supreme personality of godhead but still he is asking uh, when uh, when uh, when uh, uh, sukadev goswami said that you know uh, there is uh, uh, you know uh, uh, this putana came and then balagatini so then parishit maharaj became very very anxious now what will happen you know because his character me ghus gaya tha uh, you know so then he was very very worried what will happen to krishna now you know putana was coming like that and then uh, mara says the he, the uh, hearer was mad and then the speaker also was mad more mad because he was assuring parikshit maharaj don't worry wherever the names of krishna uh, are chanted wherever krishna katha is heard you know this kind of uh, rakshasis and all they don't work <laughs> he was assuring don't worry you know because the uh, gokul you know there is always krishna katha is going on so nothing is going to happen nothing is going to happen like that so uh this is uh, i still remember i asked this question how is it that both the incarnations lord krishna and lord rama they first killed demon lady demon right <laughs> why eh? why like that when dashrath maharaj he sent ramchandra when he was 12 years old you know to the forest along with vishwamitra muni he was in great anxiety you know he was in great anxiety uh, because uh, what will happen to my son you know forest is uh, you know infested with so many demons and all so he was praying to lord narayana and then for the safety of ramchandra and then he has some faith that vishwamitra muni was a great uh, rishi he will protect like that here also nanda maharaj he was in anxiety that some demons are going to attack uh, krishna 
so uh, he he was also praying to uh, lord hari like that so the question arises why you know why in you know, both the incarnations why the lord uh, had to kill the first uh, the demon the lady demon right so in this regard shri hari shauri ji uh, who wrote a commentary called bhakti rasayanam where radha gun maharaj always i think uh, quotes uh, bhakti rasayanam so he uh, it is explained by hari shauri that uh, he gives another meaning gokula gokula means uh, the uh, the town of lord krishna where he was born so another meaning to gokula is go means uh, one is cows another meaning is senses senses go so kula means family or network network so gokula network of senses network of senses when a when a uh, sadhaka starts practicing krishna consciousness with the network of his senses the first obstacle the greatest obstacle one a sadhaka faces is women right women so prabhupada writes shrunutam sa kata krishna punya shravana kirtana hridayanta stohi abhadrani vidunot suru satam prabhupada writes in that purport that you know for anybody even the greatest of sadhakas also the greatest obstacles are money and women we will not we should not be surprised if you know uh, devotees get attracted by these two things because we are uh, associating with them for uh, since time immemorial so it's not very easy to get rid of money and women in our life right so the first uh, so by ramchandra so because rama and krishna both most worshipable most worshiped uh, by the in the entire world, uh, universe so they were showing that okay if you come if you start worshiping me if you start worshiping me so krishna is telling i will kill the attraction the, remove the women from your life <laughs> so that is the meaning so uh, as soon as a person engages um, his gokula or network of senses and mind in the service of the uh, lord the first obstacle that he faces is his uh, in his life uh, in a uh, is lady if the person remains fixed in the thoughts and uh, uh, in the serves the lord then all the material uh, you know so lord himself arranges for the obstacles to be removed this is the implied uh, by the arrival and slaughter of putana uh, so this is uh, is it clear so why lady demon appeared first because ha huh? because that the, the woman is the one the, the big obstacle that we face in our life so if we remain fixed in the service of krishna krishna will personally remove the the demon attraction the demonic attraction for women like that so this uh, uh when krishna he is 6 days old right when when krishna was 6 days old putana came right putana came so there is a lot of significance to 6 day of the birth of a child birth of a child so shri vallabhacharya in his commentary he says that krishna appeared in the rohini nakshatra right rohini nakshatra which is very very auspicious after the rohini nakshatra on the 6th day aslesha nakshatra appeared which is uh, vishaghatini which is death nail so death nail so that is why putana has uh, appeared uh, came to Uh, Rinda uh, Gokul to kill Krishna because she fixed the this inauspicious uh, nakshatra, you know, Murta, you know, to kill Krishna, Ashlesha nakshatra, you know. So it it is connected to uh, wish and death. 
लाइक दैट सो इन दिस रिगार्ड हरिशौरी जी से दट ललाट ललाट पत्ते लिखिता विधात्र सस्ते दिने या अक्षर मालिका च ताम जन्मपत्री प्रकृति करोति दीपो यता वस्तु घना नंद करे वॉट एवर डेस्टिनी इज रिटर्न बाय लॉर्ड ब्रह्म ऑन द फोर हेड ऑफ द न्यू बॉर्न ऑन द सिक्स डे आफ्टर द बर्थ इज ब्रॉट टू लाइट बाय बोथ चार्ट बाय बर्थ चार्ट just as all objects in the darkness of a room are you know brought to light by a lamp so according to shastra on the sixth day brahma ji comes along with shashti devi so they write uh, destiny on our forehead destiny on the forehead so putana came to change the destiny of krishna to change the destiny of krishna but krishna thought who is she to change my destiny huh? <laughs> because here you know brahma ji is not involved <laughs> i will change her destiny <laughs> right <laughs> so he changed the he changed her already written destiny to go to hell but krishna decided you no know, i will send her to some very glorious place like that so putana entered gokula so she dressed herself very very beautifully she was wearing a very beautiful sari decorated herself with lot of very nice expensive ornaments golden ornaments then she uh, uh, adjusted her hair very nicely then decorated her hair with the jasmine flowers which are very very fragrant and then she was wearing very very nice beautiful uh, uh, kundal ear earrings which are moving you know and then she was carrying a lotus flower in her hand you know in her hand right so there are uh, six uh, uh, you know uh, putana decorated herself you know six uh, one is braided her hair with um, uh, jasmine flowers then she was so madhyama thin waisted right so in vedic uh, parallels beautiful women means so madhyama thin waisted you know like they say that uh, it it should come in your uh, palm yeah, that that thin should be like that and then attractively dressed attractively dressed and the number 4 uh, ear ornaments you know because of that her face is become shining then uh, had a beautiful smile and sidelong glances and number 6 carrying a lotus flower right these are the six uh, uh, you know descriptions like that uh so why did she come like that so she harishori ji says that uh, for uh, human beings in this world two most attractive things in this world is uh, uh, gold and women women are attracted to gold men are attracted to women <laughs> right right so uh, so knowing this uh, you know putana uh, took the form of a beautiful lady decorated with uh, all ornaments to entice gokula so everybody uh, in this regard shri sanatan goswami says that how uh, rohini and uh, uh, yashoda they allowed uh, putana to go and uh, inside the house and uh, take krishna see krishna how you know she got the chance to see krishna so uh, uh, sanatan goswami says yadruchaya because by the uh, influence of uh, uh, krishna's mercy because krishna has decided to uh, actually before that uh, actually uh, um, uh, putana balagatini kechari you know so prabhupad writes in krishna book that this kind of demons are still there in uh, assam 
right so that is why when the children are born these uh, these rakshasis bhutinis uh, you know all these uh, pishachas they attack the small children so that is why one should wear amulets all these nishinga kavach then they should chant mantras to protect uh, the child from this kind of evil influences uh, like that so uh, actually putana namakaran is different her name is putana is not putana putana is a jati very very ferocious demoness because she just like you know agasura's name was different but because he is personified sin his nickname title became agasura like that putana her name is different but she her, because this putana which you know they are a particular jati they are very very ferocious and they simply drink blood of the children like that so that is why she, her name became putana so in this regard so, um, uh, she came looking for prabhupad rights you know to perform her nefarious activities so actually prabhupad uh, many of the uh, acharyas they say that you know she came to kill the children and all and then she was uh, so in this regard shrinath chakravarti one of the acharyas he says uh, because he was very very afflicted that you know children are killed you know so he he concluded his feeling was that no child was killed by putana she was only looking for the children jiva ko swami opens that she killed only those children only those children they belonging to the family who are supporting kamsa sanatan go swami says that she could not kill any child uh, in uh, uh, gokul because they are all pious and they are chanting hari krishna so uh, we should not worry because no devotee child was killed by putana only the children of demons close to kamsa they were killed by putana so like that uh, you know div- uh, acharyas uh, differently they comment so then putana came she was looking for the child so in this regard one acharya comments that when you go looking for krishna right krishna will make the path easy <laughs> so putana came any any child is there any child is there krishna started crying i am here i am here come <laughs> right so putana came like that asadantakam you know in the one of the verses it is mentioned asadantakam uh, you know the main difference between rama uh, other incarnations and krishna you know lord ramchandra you know they they criticize of course in a in devotees only they say that uh, krishna is not like this you know rama because rama killed uh, uh, subahu he left marichi right he left marichi right and the krishna rama killed 14000 demons nara na, karadushan na, you know uh, all these you know. then uh, he left you know akampana he he saw you know going like that see if at all he had killed uh, marichi all these things would not have happened you know golden deer sita aparan <laughs> like that so that is why krishna was thinking it seems what mistakes i have done in my incarnation oh i i left out these demons who caused me trouble more later <laughs> you know ramchandra is very very gracious you know udatta <laughs> uh, because uh, ravanasur came first day you know he uh, he was defeated very badly ravanasur was defeated very badly and then he was became nehatta right without uh, ramchandra he ravanasur was looking very fearfully at ramchandra that he is going to release ramchandra uh, kept his uh, uh, dhanush down hey ravan you became very tired <laughs> go and take rest <laughs> come back we will fight <laughs> so first day itself <laughs> so first day itself itna dharaya <laughs> right <laughs> like that but krishna doesn't do all these things so krishna's the thought it seems while he was taking appearing he said what mistakes i have done uh, so i left out these demons you know and who caused you know trouble later so uh, sanatan goswami says that asadantaka means whoever is demoniac krishna is going to kill mercilessly 
then he says this includes balaram also balaram also he is cannot be called asadantakam because he left he was very very favorable to a demon called duryodhan you know duryodhan so asadantaka he he said like that anyway so putana ke so putana sees the lord take get the mic uh. so now this verse very important verse that uh, why krishna closed his eyes right why krishna closed his eyes uh, lord narayana he is known as animisha means he doesn't uh, close blink his eyes animisha so all this godly appearance outside vrindavan right outside vrindavan i told this past time many times that uh, when krishna krishna doesn't have the habit of sleeping because in uh, you know he is animisha but uh, when he when he was born uh, because you know the mothers you know they, they want they need rest and they have to do household activities also no if the child is awake if the child is awake they can't do any work so krishna doesn't sleep only so they you know you know how you know in the in the villages how they pat the child on the back so jao so jao so jao ha jo achuta ananda jo jo mukunda you know in telugu they say jo 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 means so jao so jao karke right sanamacharya he wrote a bhajan jo achuta ananda jo jo mukunda lali paramananda lal govinda jo 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 so jo 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 karke you know they everybody started patting on his back so everybody krishna doesn't sleep so ye to bachcha sota hi nahi so he doesn't sleep so everybody would come and pat so lal lal ho gaya everybody would come and you know pat on his back so then krishna and are ye log ko to sone ka aadat hai Huh? is liye he would he started then he also started sleeping adro <laughs> you only pretending to be sleeping you know adhi <laughs> animisha so animisha so uh, in uh, vaikuntha and all they don't uh, narayana he is known as animisha he doesn't blink but he became so how many of you know why krishna closed his eyes give him the mic Uh, give him the mic hari krishna ko ji so many acharyas given his commentary one, only one you tell okay yeah. so <laughs> uh, lord krishna closed his eyes and remembering uh, lord shiva because he thought that ki uh, putna carry uh, poison in, in her breast so better and the lord shiva will come and drink this uh poison because at the time of uh, samundra manthan lord shiva came and drank all the uh, poison so that, that is one of the uh, uh, krishna arishori ji says that you know when uh, in vaikuntha you know he is sleeping on the milk wash milk uh, you know milk washan but he never gets to drink uh, you know butter and all that right he never gets to drink butter and all so then he thought let me go to gokul and uh, i will get some very nice makan and butter and all so krishna thought are me to butter uh, makan khane ke liye aaya hu ye poison khila rahi hai you know zahar khila rahi hai isliye zahar khane wala aur ek hai <laughs> lord shiva usko bulayega isliye closed his eyes and meditating calling lord shiva yeah one more any other in one more only one uh hari krishna uh it is the against of religious principle to kill a woman so krishna has to kill her so he, cl- he closed his eyes yeah anyone else rajarbu you tell one reason <laughs> narayar prabhu ha huh? Mukundwadru ha 
इतना well putna had killed so many uh, children so krishna did not want to look at her face as she has already eaten so eaten so many kids so harishauri ji says that uh, uh ha ah, you tell हरे कृष्णा तो भगवान सोच रहे थे कि ये पुतना कोई पायस एक्टिविटीज किए हैं लास्ट लाइफ में इसके लिए भगवान मेडिटेट करने लगे इनको उदार करने के लिए या इफ ही वांटेड टू नो इफ ही हैज इफ शी हैज डन एनी पायस एक्टिविटीज सो दैट आई कैन गिव हर गुड डेस्टिनेशन राइट हरिशौरी जी सेस वेरी ब्यूटीफुल रीजन दैट इफ आई लुक एट हर विद कंपैशन शी विल बिकम प्यूरीफाइड If I tell her, if I look at her angrily, she will be burned to ashes. So if I do this right now, you know the the pa- fulfillment, past time fulfillment will not take place. You know the rasa that that he is going to show. You know this wonderful past time. Please, uh, this past time, uh, she Bilva Mangal Thakur says three past times every day. One should remember every day. I do that. Uh, one is. Uh, early in the morning you should remember putana vadha aho bakiyam stana you, you learn that verse aho bakiyam stana kalkutam and then meditate on that past time aho bakiyam stana kalkutam and then number 2 in the afternoon one should remember damodar leela right in the night time we should remember krishna standing on the chariot of arjuna teaching bhagavad gita so vidhi vashat if yamadutas they come to pick you up krishna will come with the chariot and put you on the chariot and take home back to godhead <laughs> right <laughs> so so that is so vishana chakur thakur says that uh, five he gives five reasons he gives five reasons to show that he is a small child and afraid of such fire's demons that is number 1 Number two, to avoid seeing such an inauspicious demon as Putana. Number three, no cheating can remain in front of the uh, vision of the Lord. Number four, Lord would uh, have felt embarrassed uh, that the lady who had shown the mood of a mother, you know, uh, you know, he she wanted to kill, you know. so uh, like that and number 5 he did not want to see the her suffering right she see her suffering shri harishori ji says that uh, uh, in this verse it is mentioned charachar atma right charachar atma so he is about to drink poison he is about to drink poison then all the universes charachar atma moving and non moving living entities they live in his stomach they live in his stomach so all the uh, living entities in his stomach they started you know shivering in the uh, you know fear that you know now krishna is going to drink poison uh, drink poison so we are all going to be affected right so krishna closed his eyes and made his went in wards to uh, inform all the living entities don't worry you are not going to kill you are not going to be killed right so that is uh, uh, one reason given by uh, hari shauri ji so there are so many so maharaj says one says children close their eyes when they see an unknown person harishori says she is impersonating like a mother so i don't want to see such a cruel person's face sanatan goswami says krishna is thinking when i kill her she will shiver and struggle which i cannot see better to kill closing eyes because it is easier harishori ji says i came to drink milk and butter i why this poison so it is lord shiva's job to drink poison so krishna is doing dhyana on shiva imploring him to take his share 
now i am a child in danger threat to my life so in a dangerous situation one should perform yoga <laughs> you know which involves uh, meditation closing the eyes <laughs> also he is thinking in this life she didn't do any punya only pap so he closed his eyes to check if she has done any punya in her last life for doing manan he is also doing dhyana to check if any other children are to be saved sun and the moon are thinking ah this is a very important sun and the moon are thinking uh, krishna is very merciful going to give her liberation so we will not let her uh, uh, go on archi mark you know sun and krishna's eyes represent sun and the moon so the archi mark means uh, some liberated souls they catch hold of the rays of the sun and reach the higher planets that is called archi mark like that so sun is and moon are saying we are going to we are not going to let her go through our race like that sanatan goswami says putana is avidya so if she sees krishna's eyes she will get knowledge and can't be killed so krishna thought if i look into her eyes she will become afraid and won't attempt to kill me so she is saying itna acha bachcha hai <laughs> anyway so this is a very uh, you can always remember this past time Th- this is how we do leela smaran you know sit and uh, you know cal- recollect all the you know in detail you know leela smaran means we should know all the details and then commentaries and then you know just meditate on the past time of uh, you know naam roopa guna leela right so so now she kept the child on her uh, lap ah one more point i forgot uh, why rohini and uh, yashoda did not uh, stop you know uh, putana to enter inside the inside the house and start giving milk they are associates of the lord so harish uh, harishori ji says that that is why if uh, uh, eternal associates of the lord they could not recognize who is a cheater and who is a genuine person what to speak of us that's why he advises that uh, we should not uh, glorify a living person too much too highly because before he dies he may do any lafda <laughs> right that is when one shri vishnu poet says that uh, vaishnavas they like only two persons one whose picture is hanging on the wall <laughs> another person who is dead <laughs> right that is the uh, prabhu das prabhu uh, when uh, jagadanand pandit prabhu when he left his body he was actually doing you know shok shabha he was telling that uh, um when somebody is dead we glorify so much <laughs> but when we are alive <laughs> they blaspheme us so much you know i to my sai vaisa hai so he is requesting when i am alive praise me something <laughs> you know glorify what is the use of you know uh, <laughs> glorifying me after i am dead <laughs> but vaishnavas according to vaishnava sri vaishnava he says we like only two people <laughs> one in the photo hanging on the wall another is <laughs> who is dead <laughs> like that so uh, putana represents uh, false guru so she uh, so we should be careful you know bakuna thakur says that we should be very careful not to accept a false guru like that uh, uh sucking out uh, so krishna uh, th- thought okay so he, he uh, so the the promise that krishna gave you know the one verse which is repeated both in bhagavad gita and bhagavatam you know which verse ha huh? patram pushpam phalam to yum yum bhakta prayachati tadaham bhakti upratam ashnami pradatmanah so krishna spoke nine chapter and then krishna spoke the same verse to sudama brahmana sudam vipra in 10th kind of bhagavatam patram pushpam so krishna's promise is you give whatever you give i will take krishna is very kind right so so she wanted to give milk uh, along with the poison so krishna started sucking the breast of uh, putana so she applied kalkut vish just by smell of it somebody may die 
she was so cruel in her heart but krishna is bhavatita so whoever comes to krishna they will become purified you know so it doesn't matter what is our motive but if you come and serve start serving krishna krishna will purify the motive also our heart also right so prabhupad writes uh, satyavratam satyaparam tri satyam in that shloka that you know satyavratam satyaparam because krishna is truth personified unless somebody is truthful one cannot get krishna so prabhu says hypocrites they cannot get krishna but once uh, madan mohan malavya went to shil baksidanta then he said uh, some of your disciples i see that they are very hypocrites prabhu baksidanta said yes that is why i am engaging them in krishna service <laughs> where else they will get purified <laughs> where else they will get purified so putana came uh, so in this regard uh, she harishori ji says that a person may be traversing on all the incorrect paths in the life or may be uh, you know uh, completely toxic in behavior but if that person holds me close to the heart even once then i will definitely uh, liberate them that is the clear message from the past time of putana so along with the life uh, along with the milk krishna drank the uh, uh, taken away the life airs also so when uh, krishna catching hold of her breast and in uh, very tightly holding her you know he she when he started drinking the milk and along with that life airs so she felt each and every no she felt pain it was unbearable pain right unbearable pain at the time of death in garud purana it is mentioned that there are 72000 uh, nerves in our body and then all these five airs they uh, they go underneath these uh, nerves so why the we uh, the person who dies feels extru- excruciating pain that is equal into 36000 bites of uh, scorpions because these yamadutas they come uh, uh, they just like you know if you cut your hair no pain but if you pluck the hair it is so painful right so painful like right? that they uh, drag that life air uh, underneath the 72000 verses that is why people feel pain but if you hear prabhupad books and understand that i am not this body you tell the yamadutas you don't drag me i am coming <laughs> no problem no pain that is why devotees they die very peacefully you know <laughs> right like that so she was experiencing great pain so she was shouting munchati munchati leave me leave me like that so radha gunmar says once krishna catches somebody he will never leave are mai tumko chhodne ke liye thodi pakdao right anybody who enters the hare krishna mandir their doors to material enjoyment are closed permanently <laughs> right ek bar mandir mein aaya right once garud puran mein lord krishna is uh, describing hell uh, all that i'm going to uh, describe the hellish who will go to hell and all garud ji laughed laughed then uh, krishna said are i'm going discussing a very serious topic why are you laughing said wow what my dear lord anybody who says govinda even once how they can go to hell <laughs> yeah yeah true so but there are still people who will not chant govinda huh? so lord krishna says in garud purana that anybody who uttered the word hari even once right their journey to go back to godhead has started so it is mentioned that uh, he leave me leave me leave me so krishna once he catches somebody he will never leave you so we should not uh, krishna says in 11th canto bhagavatam that you know my devotees they come to krishna consciousness and they start practicing sadhakas but you know even though they know that committing sinful activities or sense gratification is harmful to spiritual life but still they cannot control their senses you know they are tempted to do that but krishna assures you know still the devotee my devotee should not lose enthusiasm still go on practicing krishna consciousness eventually he will give it up i will give them protection even then so even though we are struggling in the spiritual life one thing we should like bhakti charmar always says you know that never leave iskon <laughs> right 
नेवर लीव इस कॉन पढ़े रहो कैसा भी गाली खाते हुए कैसा भी यू नो प्रसाद खाते जस्ट पढ़े रहो लास्ट मिनट में सब ठीक हो जाएगा अरे डिवोटीज विल कम चैंड हरे कृष्णा ऑल द एनिमीज ऑल्सो विल बिकम फ्रेंड्स यू नो दे पुट गार्लैंड यू नो दे प्रे फॉर यू राइट इफ यू आर रिमोट समवे यू नो डाई हु विल प्रे फॉर यू वॉट एवर इट इज जस्ट स्टे इन इस कॉन देन यू पक्का गोइंग बैक टू गॉड एड राइट यू नो वट्स यू नो वन ओल्ड डिवोटी तेलुगु डिवोटी ईज टू डू तुलसी सेवा गंगादास राइट सो ये उसको काम ही यही था कि सबको गाली देना <laughs> ये मैनेजर ऐसा है ये राम रूप ऐसा है वजह ऐसा है सो उधर स्टेप्स के उधर बैठ के राइट देन बट यू वन थिंग यू वॉज यूज टू डू पर फाका यू नो ये तुलसी ही वॉज वॉशिंग तुलसी प्लेट यू वुड मेक अरेंजमेंट फॉर तुलसी worship and all that <laughs> then mm, devotees are very merciful right he they took him to vrindavan in his last days in his last days and then he left his body in vrindavan uh, uh, so glorious you know so that is why whatever it is you know we should not leave iskon even if you leave iskon krishna will not leave you you know once in atlanta temple uh, they were getting calls you know they were getting calls kali dete so they wanted to find out who is giving galis then after some time it used to stop at that time one devotee would come and stay so as soon as the devotee would leave he would get they would get calls you know hari krishna wale bogas you know there is that like that then uh, one day they caught him they said you are the one who is calling why are you doing that are i came here you know but i am still attracted to sense enjoyment but uh, when i when i go back i remember all this mangalarti prasadam kirtan and all i cannot enjoy properly <laughs> so that's why i keep coming back so i want to forget krishna but he would not let me forget him <laughs> so like that uh, uh, once krishna catches you he will never leave you so then uh, along with that so when harishori says that uh, Uh, when uh, this kamarupini so she disguised herself so she attained swarupa <laughs> her real swarupa of in you know, a huge demoness huge demoness so anyway uh, there is not much time so very very lot of so much description is there and there two hours i can describe but i'll stop don't worry <laughs> like not like yesterday <laughs> so it is uh, mentioned that uh, one uh, uh, she attained the uh, janani gatim no so krishna sent her so in this regard vishnu chakra thakur says that uh, where did she go she did not go to vaikuntha she went to golok vrindavan but uh, she did not uh, attain the position of a mother but she attained uh, sukha uh, sukha ishwarya she did not get she did not experience the bliss of being a mother and father mother to krishna or feeding him and all that uh, she was living in the edge of uh, vrindavan golok vrindavan but uh, she uh, she was only experiencing happiness and aishwarya of krishna so she did not experience the love of krishna Ex- you know, she didn't experience the love of krishna so it is uh, uh, very wonderful uh, uh, in this regard rupa goswami wrote one uh, you know two things i will tell and then close that uh, uh, hari shauri ji says that you know sandalwood whatever it is you know will not give up its nature so even though even though uh, the axe cuts the uh, sandalwood you know sandalwood the even before dying the tree leaves the fragrance on the axe of the, on the axe in the same way this is the nature of a sadhu you know the sadhu they will never give, give krishna will never give up his nature so putana did not give up her nature of cruelty why should i give up my nature of karuna so i will send her to go back to godhead so this is a very very so we remember this past time then even though we have, we think you know even though i have so many bad qualities you know we remember putana past time oh putana is so bad you know so many bad qualities but still krishna delivered her somehow or other if i develop you know attraction for krishna and krishna katha what 
you know good fortune i will have so even though i have bad some bad qualities no problem continue with krishna consciousness uh, we'll get so rupa goswami says that you know you you putana he who you came with kapata you know dressing yourself like a lakshmi devi and all that you know and then uh, covering your cruelty and all so you came and taken away from my mother and her breast milk hear this carefully so i am going to take revenge against you you have come with kapata buddhi to take away f- me take me away from my bu- mother's breast milk and uh, uh, yeah you know my from my mother so i am going to take revenge that i am also going to take you away from mother and mother's breast milk that means punarap you know go bhaja govindam bhaja govindam govindam bhaja moodamate samprapte sannihita kale nahi nahi rakshati dukrin karane like that you know uh, shankaracharya sings in that uh, you know you have to what is that you have to uh, punarapi manaranam punarapi jananam uh, punarapi janini jatare shayanam uh, so it is uh, you know you, uh, you have to go and take birth again enter the womb like that so krishna is telling i will take also revenge against you by taking you away from breast milk and mother that means i am you are not going to get any other any more mother <laughs> go back to godhead so krishna is fearless he was playing on the chest of uh, uh, putana and then uh, they brought and then they chanted mantras you know narayan batar this says my dear lord they are chanting krishna's names only to protect krishna that means krishna's name is more powerful than krishna <laughs> even though they say krishna's name and all are equal he says my dear lord you don't need any auspicious protection and all all that protection give it to me narayan batta is praying in narayan narayaniyam like that so when they cut the you know prabha says in the purport that you know when the snakes are killed they should be cut into pieces otherwise if you just throw like that they will uh, come back to life and then they haunt you so that's why they cut them into pieces Uh, so another good thing sanadan goswami says that when she fell she did not fall on any living entity in gokul there was a garden belonging to kamsa <laughs> it went fell like that so like you know gadudgaja when he was killed when the shakti bond was uh, released he was such a huge like mountain like demon so bhima shouted are don't fall here this side putra fall on that side <laughs> <laughs> he fell on the korva so he killed so many people when he fell also dead body also killed so many people <laughs> like that sanatan goswami says this putana came to kill so many children but when she was dying also she killed all the trees in kamsa's garden <laughs> like that <laughs> so when they were burning the body you know the agru smell came right agru smell came like that so uh, let us pray to krishna today <laughs> that like he delivered putana without seeing her bad qualities <laughs> please my dear lord uh, don't uh, <laughs> look at my faults uh, give me your shelter so sukadev goswami says you know putana got that such a benediction then what to speak of all the cows uh, you know uh, mothers you know mother yashoda who gave milk krishna very lovingly what 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 will be their destination so brahma ji was surprised my dear lord you given yourself to bakasura agasura and putana putana's family what will you give to your vrajavasis who have given up everything for you bolo adhyaksha ji what did krishna give to them so brahma ji's question was how you know what what will you give I, uh, I quoted in my last Bhagavatam class when Gopis were asking question to Krishna. So Krishna told that I cannot repay. So you be satisfied with your own glorious deeds. Oh, very good. Um, but Vishnu Chakur Tagur says that he gave Bhama Vrindavan, which is better than Vaikuntha, which is better than Golok Vrindavan. <laughs> Bhama Vrindavan. Thank you, Hare Krishna.
uh today prabhupad you know left for you know so you can read from prabhupad past you know like that once one past time i will tell and close the class that you know when um, in shantipur there is a pujari who was worshiping the deities he he was narrating that every day one gentleman would, very frequently one gentleman would come and sit in shantipur and cry and cry so you know for, uh, chanting hari krishna continuously and crying and the gentleman for some time he didn't come back he didn't come then after some time again this gentleman came and then he, uh, he he that day he was chanting more vigorously and then he was crying and praying and all that then finally that pujari did not want to disturb this gentleman uh, so finally he could not stop himself then he said uh, my dear sir who are you why are you crying so much uh, you are crying more than before you didn't come all this while for a long time you didn't come so who are you why you are crying so much then he said my name is bhaktivedanta swami my guru maharaj he gave me order to preach krishna consciousness in the west but i am such a fool so shantipur is the where mahaprabhu advaitacharya so nityananda they all met and uh, decided made a plan to spread krishna consciousness so i am unqualified to go to preach in the west so i am just praying to all these acharyas to best of me mercy day after tomorrow i am going to us <laughs> so give me your bless so i am coming to take blessings that's how proper actually prepared himself to go to the west and preach krishna consciousness thank you very much hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare there is so much to say more but okay you know there is a lot of seva also